Are you looking for ways to serve people in your community and elsewhere? Today, I'll show you how easy it is to use the Just Serve app to find service opportunities. And note, you can also use their website, justserve.org. Service opportunities can be found near you, or you can put in the zip code or name of a location where you would like to find opportunities to serve. And the cool part is Just Serve has opportunities internationally. So if you want to serve on a vacation in Canada, you can do that. It's so great. In this video, I'll show you three examples of how you could find a service opportunity in the app. And I'll put a timestamp in the description below so you can jump to a specific opportunity if you would like. The first example will be someone who has specific interests and how they could find opportunities based on those interests. The second is a family with young children looking for opportunities to serve. And the third is someone who has a specific item they would like to donate. So let's jump in and see how this can be done. When you first open the app, you're given this screen where you can either sign in or you can continue as a guest. You are not required to create an account when using the Just Serve app, but it does give you some added features and is definitely highly recommended. Here are some reasons why you would want to create a Just Serve account. Service opportunities can be tailored to you. It will help you keep track of service you have done. Signing in will allow you to save your favorite projects and it gives you the ability to receive notifications about projects in your area. Also, signing in gives you the opportunity to let Just Serve know what essential items you have available in an emergency. For this video, I am going to assume that you have created an account and logged in to that account. So I'm going to click here with continue with email and I'll log in with my account. If you don't have one, you can click sign up right here. Once I have logged into my account, I'm going to come down here and click on projects in the bottom left corner. For our first example, I want to show you how an individual with specific interests could find a service opportunity. So I'm going to come up here and click on filters. And first I want to put in the location and we'll just put in a zip code in Utah. And you can select a search radius for how far away you're willing to do a service project. You could put in a keyword. I'll show you that in a little bit. I want to come down here and show you a couple things. You could set your availability. So say you're available Monday through Saturday, morning or afternoon. You could input that and hit save and you could slide that across and it would look for volunteer opportunities that fit your availability. For this example, I'm going to come down here and look at our service interests and I'm going to click change my service interests. You can see there are lots of areas of interest that you could filter your search by. I'm going to just choose to make it easy animals. So I'm going to say I am searching for service opportunities that involve animals. So I'll click save down there and then once you click save, the other thing you want to make sure you do is that you slide this little toggle over so that it will just search for your service interests. And then we'll click search. So what it's done is it's searched in this zip code 84015 and given 14 results on service opportunities involving animals. Pretty great. So you could go and if you love animals, this is a great place to find a service project. And if you wanted, you could favorite one. Maybe you really like this one, you could favorite it. And if you did that, it would click on favorites over here, it would show up in your favorites. Once you find a service opportunity that you're interested in, you can go ahead and just click on it and you'll be able to see the project details for that project. And if you scroll down, you'll see more details, including a point of contact. And that's the person that you can contact about that service opportunity. Okay, coming back to projects, let's look at our next opportunity of service. I'm going to click on filters again, and I'm going to change this down here. I'm going to turn off this toggle on service interests. Okay, on our second example, we're looking for a service opportunity for a family with young children. So what we want to do is come here in the search and click on change my project preferences. In here, you can choose what you want your project preferences to be. So we're going to say suitable for all ages and a group project because this is a family. And then we'll click save. 
and come over here and slide this toggle on so that it'll filter for just those and then click search and it found 149 results 25 miles away from this zip code and so you can go in there and look for opportunities for your family for our final example we're going to look for locations where an individual could donate clothing so we're going to come up here to filters again and in the keyword i'm going to enter clothing and then i'm going to change my project preferences i'm going to turn off suitable for all ages and group projects and i'm instead going to select item donations non-monetary and then come down here and click save and then i'll click search and this has found eight results for me of places to donate clothing so just a few things to note when you're up here doing your search you can even enter in a location like, for example, say you're going on vacation to Vancouver, Canada. You could enter in that location and it'll find service opportunities there. My filter is still on, so that's why it's only showing two results, showing two places I could donate clothing near Vancouver, Canada. In addition, you can come up here and click on remote projects and see projects that are further away from you, but that are still an opportunity for you to serve. A few things to note down here. If you volunteered, you can come here and see the history of your volunteering. You can see your favorites right there, projects or your favorite organizations if you've favorited some organizations. You can click on organizations and see a list of organizations that have service opportunities near you. As you look over the list of organizations that have projects available in your area, you may find an organization that you're interested in serving. However, none of the projects they offer are a good fit for you. In that instance, you could always contact the organization to see if they have other service opportunities. And then a few important things to note here in the settings, if you come and click on more and click on notifications, if you want, you can set up contact preferences here on how much contact you would like to receive from Just Serve. There's all sorts of notifications that you can set up in here. In addition, you can also set up your availability, your project preferences, service interests, skills and talents in the settings area. Also, you can click on available tools and you can enter the tools that you would be able to bring for disaster relief efforts. So there you go. That is the Just Serve app. It's a great tool and highly recommend you start using it to find service in your area. Check out these videos for more from Gospel Mom Tech and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos.